Puts it across! Yeah! <laughs> we just got some very bad news on WhatsApp. The biggest roller coaster of emotion. This club's gonna give me a heart attack. Oh Right, you've all seen the side, yeah? Where's Lee? What the fuck's going on here? Tonight for us is all going to be about our character. Our character, all this nonsense where they've got a little room inside and we've got to do our team talks outside and every other team that's been here before has been out of use of changing rooms and all of that, it's just designed to try and get in, get in our heads. Obviously tonight is a big game. The last time we played them, the season, uh, the last season, we, uh, we were told that we weren't allowed to film. The last game before the season was null and void was actually against them. Georgie! Yeah! And I think that would have ended up being a title decider. They're definitely one of the teams that we're in most competition with to get out of this league. Oh, he's gambled on it. Oh, it's penalty. Yeah, it's penalty. For Wolfenstone. No! <laughs> Ashley Jones! That's such a bad penalty. Still Toby on the left. Cutting it onto the right. Plays it to Jesse it's the first time! It's in! It's in! Keeper's got to be asking questions, isn't it? George Smith, can he get the other side yes. of the striker? Him, He's got a him, chance here! Him. George Smith! Oh, well done from the keeper. We cannot keep giving cheap free kicks away that allow them to stick the ball into the box. Corner comes in for Stowe. And it does go in. So it's going to be a direct free kick here for Wolfenstone. Chance to go in the lead. And they take it. That's the final whistle. And you have to say, it is a well-earned win for Walthamstow. When we get beat, we get a hell of a lot more scrutiny on us. The thing is with the viewers, they're not comparing apples with apples. They're comparing Essex Senior League players to Premier League players. And it's a real, real um, strange thing to get your head round. I can tell you one thing, we're at home again. We're at home! Get in! We're at home again. We're at home! Home again. Get in! It's the we toughest got, draw we could have got, got in terms home. of league. In terms of league, it's, wow. it's the National League South team we're playing. Wow. They were a National League Prem team two seasons ago. Braintree Town! Braintree Town. So we, we played league. Braintree Town Reserves. We were in the league in their reserves. Yeah, team. yeah, yeah. Wow. We've That's got wild. the National League Pyramid here, right here. Braintree Town there, whereas we're all the way down here, sure. now we're going to be massive rank outsiders. It's definitely a, a much more significant jump. Our Crazy best jump. bet, in my opinion, is taking him to Pens again. Oh, I don't think I can handle Pens, mate. Pens has killed me. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. How you doing? Oh, uh, good, you? Very good, very good. How's training? Good, good. good. Nice, nice, Just nice. Good. So, have you have you seen the draw or no? Uh, yeah, I've seen Have you seen it? <laughs> Our first win when we went into non-league was against their reserve team. Have you got any have you got any advice? Because you're the sort of team with Chelsea who you're probably often playing the teams that are, you know, two or three divisions below you. Like what can we do to try and beat the bigger team? What's the tip for us? Well, I think uh, the determination, you know, be hungry. I think you have done really well. So I'm sure, you know, you, you, you can see always the FA Cup games are quite special. Any, anything can happen with you, so. <laughs> it's, the, it's the hashtag way. It's the hashtag way. Yeah. Well, great stuff, man. Uh, best of luck in the next game. Okay, and uh, thank you, mate. I'll thank see you soon. Good man. See you soon. Bye, bye. Bye.
there you go. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad, is it, having a guy on the board who has won the FA Cup and lost two finals as well, so three finals of the FA Cup. If we can get anywhere near the first round proper, that would be unbelievable. So it's good to have him in, the, uh, in, in, in our corner. But it's all up to us now. Eight days from now, we go to battle. I cannot wait for it. It's going to be mental, mate. It's going to be mental. So during the first lockdown, of course, we were busy working and merging with Forest Glade and creating the first ever hashtag United Youth Teams. The club started um, 28 years ago with nine players and we started to progress the number of teams from nine boys, which was just less than one team, to 41 teams that we currently have. For me, it was a really important development in Hashtag United's growth because, yes, we are this, this internet-based global team, but we need to start having local roots. Some really good, talented little goalies here. Really good. Hands are good. Feet are good. It's just a good bit of fun as well, mate, as well, you know? Good job. Great save. Love that. One thing that really attracted me to Forest Glade is the girls set up they already had as well. You know, we, we were looking at and we knew we were going to incorporate a women's team into our club. So it's really important that we can have that aspiration for both boys and girls to play their way through with our team all the way through the age groups until hopefully one day playing for the first team. It's a one club policy we're trying to instigate here. You know, we have a men's team, we have a women's team. You know, it's just football and that's how I see football now. I don't want to separate between the sexes. Football is football and I'm glad to say that we represent both. Bang, we're here today in County Island. We've been here before during the men's pre-season but today we're here for a very different occasion and that is the women's first home game of the season since they become Hashtag United Women. It's so exciting. Obviously the season kicked off last week. Um, unfortunately, narrow loss to Ipswich, who were the league favourites, so obviously that's actually disappointing. Um, but we're ready to bounce back. You are the favourites today. You, you are expected to win. and the girls brought it back from 1-0 down. We don't like to make things easy for ourselves, but we pulled it off. So what did they actually say to you at the hospital? Like, what was the... I know you've obviously hurt your hand, feel it all day, but what did they say? Like, what is it? On my hand, imagine this finger. Yeah. Like, it's just, apparently it's below this finger here. So, so like when bottom, she yeah. when she like left my hands out like this, I I think is that I was like, what's going on? Because I thought I broke my finger. She said, no, you've broken it here. So what time frame did they give you? Like what have they? They said they said they said they said six weeks. Six, six weeks. weeks. Six to eight weeks. What is going to affect for the pro season? I'm sure we have Club World Cup in between that that period of time. I mean, I've literally had all summer for this to happen, and it's happened at the start of the year. Insane, I, I, I don't even know what to laugh or cry about it at this point. I can't, but I genuinely, I can't believe it. Like it is genuinely, like as a FIFA player, you always think to yourself, the only thing that could happen is breaking your hand, like or mm -hmm. doing so. Even your finger, if you mess up your finger, it's going to affect your performance, right? We are at the start of the season. This is the most important part. This is the part where you learn the game. You can get ahead of the curve in terms of like how much do you want to grind, do you want to put in, and I can't put in that grind right now. It's, do you it's feel like, capable of 
holding a control. I'm gonna. Up. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try it. I mean, the thing is, if you told them, if you told any medical expert, they'd tell you not to do it. They would literally say, "You are an idiot. Why would you try and make your injury worse?" Although any people that are clued up would think you're an absolute idiot. But like, when people understand about the verification thing, yeah, it's pain and yeah, it might set you back. But if you don't get verified by December, end of December, January to September is a write-off. You mm-hmm. know, you can't play compared feet. You can't do it. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All you can do is give it best shot. Mm-hmm. Mate, we have had the forty-eight hours from hell, haven't we? You got Liverpool. Van Dyke's injury. Van Dyke gets injured. Spurs concede three to West Ham. And Spurs will be happy. And our boiler breaks and your finger breaks. It can't, I can't believe it. So game day. Uh, it's a big one, obviously, biggest game in our history. We've probably the eighth time we've said that in this documentary, but um it's Braintree's first competitive game of the season, though. Obviously, I'd say it gives us a bit of an advantage. This is like our 10th, I think, competitive game. Uh, we've got another new goalkeeper. It's a sick goalkeeper we've used this season. He's got a dual registration from Haybridge Swifts. Dev has got him in. Dev does bits in the transfer windows, we know. The nerves are kicking in, but we're under no pressure here. No pressure. I've said that last few rounds. We played a team in the league above. Now we're playing a team three leagues above. Pressure's all on them. I hope we you know, do ourselves justice. That's all I ask for. There is nobody outside this changing room expecting us to win today. No one. But inside this changing room, we absolutely believe we can win today. Today's yours. It's yours to go and take. Yours to go and seize. Let's go do it. Come on, let's go. Great kick from the, the goalkeeper there. And he's put the ball over the top for Jan Fab, who chests it down. It could be a chance. Big save for Page. He's still alive for Braintree. Oh, and it's off the line for Reece Stewart. But they're still coming here. Oh, it's another save. Oh, my goodness. Harry, is this your first hashtag game? No, I've been to every one. <laughs> you haven't seen me. I've been incognito. We all want the, the tags to win. If anyone can do it, hashtag can. The mighty fucking tags. Sorry. The mighty tags. It's going to be Harry Honesty making way and it's going to be Toby Aroma Laren coming on. Jesse, he's gone low. Give a smudger. He's still on. Toby! Oh, he's off the bar! He's off the bar! Toby Aroma Laren. Jesse's going to find Toby here, is he? Toby, Thank thinking you. about a shot maybe. He's it! Oh! Oh, We're in two injury times, Ben. We're leading in the FA Cup second qualification round. You need a heart rate monitor in there. Have we got a defib anywhere? We do. George DCB. Smith. Battle. No, 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 no. Oh my God, you're kidding me. How has that happened? How Chilly. have we kept them quiet me. for 91 minutes and they've just done that? I really, really hope that doesn't come back to bite us because I can't believe what I've just seen. Well, we've only just finished celebrating and the other team have scored, Braintree have scored. We've literally only just finished celebrating. Oh, God. I was tweeting, I didn't see their goal. I was tweeting, I still thought we, we were winning. And it is penalties, penalties again. It's penalties again, guys. I mean, you just can't make this stuff up, guys. Honestly, it's getting ridiculous. Game one, come from behind win in the last few minutes. Game two, penalties with 15 penalties each. Told game you, three, penalties again with Told madness. You. Game four, Destiny. 90th minute. Winner countered by a 94th minute equaliser and now penalties again. This is the dumbest FA Cup run I've seen. Every time I think this can't get madder. Got this. It can't get madder, right? It can't get madder. We're already winners, whatever happens, boys. I've said it before, I'll say it again. This team is a group of winners. Over to you, 
Musa. Jesse Walla Lassen. Oh my god! Oh my god! Four all now into sudden death. Put it wide and it's over. And unlucky to Tom Anderson who actually had a fantastic game. The FA Cup dream for Hashtag is over for this year. And you have to say, whilst we have done ourselves so proud, it probably hurts a bit more because we probably should have won the game, Seb. We were definitely the better team in that second half. We had the game won, I thought, in the 91st, 92nd minute. There's so many things if I could go back, I'd change. I'd probably sprint across the pitch and grab one of the players by the neck. Players just got caught up in the moment and it was understandable. Well, we did, I think. That went a long way f for me to, to f people looking and going, oh, actually, this is a, a proper football club. We might not like the name, but this is a proper football club that, that can compete and entertain. You got, any, you got any complaints with that performance? No. no. Exactly. So, has you got any complaints with that performance? Just, like? no, just, just be getting the same three legs above us. Yeah. Ah, it's just so, it's like, if we could have come and lost 2 0 and they could have just done a very consummate performance, we'd still be very proud of the boys. But then when you get that goal and then you're up in the penalties, it's like. It hurts. That's, yeah. that, uh, that's when it hurts. When the FA Cup game finished, I said to myself, if this is it for this year, if we don't get any more football, if the season ends up being null and void again, hopefully it won't be, but if it does happen, at least we've had this. We've had something that has kicked on the club. We've, we've broken a new record. You know, we, we've played in the FA Cup. We had the second longest penalty shootout of all time. We had BBC coverage, broke records on Twitch, loads of support across the world. We're very, very fortunate. So I hope there's more highs to come this year, but if there isn't, I'm happy. We've hit three minutes, just about hit three minutes. Right, let me go test. Let's go see. Can we go and look at it? Yeah. <laughs> don't expect anything now. Okay. Don't expect anything, okay? Shall we? Let's do it. So if it's if it's got a line in the circle but not the square, it's negative. If it's got a line in the circle and square, it's positive. Yeah. Oh my god, it's funny. Is that a line in both? <laughs> yes. No way. It's very faint though, isn't it? Yeah. Look, you can see there the symbol. Sven, that means we're pregnant. This is a square and the square, line and the square. Pregnant? This <laughs> we're pregnant. We're pregnant, Ellie? Yeah. Yes. You wash your hands? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, well done. Well done, Ellie. You had it. What did you cost that? What are the chances? <laughs> So, um, this is where we've been keeping just like all the bits and pieces before it's ready to go into the nursery. But as you can see here, all of Spencer's football shirts have been displaced because that was, the nursery was the room where he kept all his bits and pieces. Hey, <sighs> no more. Now, baby stuff. Yay. <laughs> There's only one thing I like more than football shirts is baby stuff. Big fan of, uh, big fan of nappies and, um, uh, large oversized giraffe toys, as you can see. Oh, look how cute this is! This is the top that we um, we used to announce the baby on the hashtag channel. 
As people know, I'm excellent at picking names. You know, no one thinks hashtag United is a bad name. <laughs> Problem is, is that you just got to make it fit with the middle name and then the surname. But also, some people say you got to like wait to see the baby. Yeah. You might look like you know. Yeah. Sure, if I run around now, John Claude Van Damme, will he look like that when he comes out? Will he look like a John Claude? We don't know. <laughs> Probably she doesn't laugh at half the jokes, so you think they're just not jokes, but they're just bad jokes. But we talked about this off camera, you have to at least pretend to laugh. Uh -huh. But you were going to get called Sean Treese if you were going to be a girl. No, that was, I think that was Seb. Oh. I think Seb was going to quickly. All my family, my immediate family, were going to invest. And Seb, my older brother, was going to be Sean Treese if he was a girl. And the name they rejected last minute for a boy was Steed. Oh yeah. Uh, Steed Malbronk. I've got a feeling the baby will come and we'll be with him for a few days and we'll, and we'll choose a, a name that we haven't even thought about yet. You might look like a Sean Treese when he comes out. Maybe. Percentage, what are the odds on the Sean Treese? Well, it's a girl's name. Yeah, but you've got to sometimes you've got to mix things up a bit. So we actually did a gender reveal video, which uh, with our family outside and it was quite apt because we decided to do a football so we got um neil to um go into the kitchen fill the ball up with pink or blue powder because it was a surprise for us so he actually found out before we found out and then um when it came down to it spencer kicked the ball blue powder all came everywhere and uh it was cool wasn't it especially like it was we were first, in well. the middle of a pretty naff 2020 mm -hmm. you know it's just nice to have something to celebrate um so yeah, first first born as well, so I thought they're, I think they're really cool. Yeah. yeah, we haven't been able to share much of the pregnancy with our like family and friends because we haven't been able to see them. So it was just nice to share that with them and it felt more real. It's, it's, it's enjoyable playing under the hashtag name. Definitely brings something more. There's more pride involved, I think, in there, Gem. 100%. Yeah. Well, because on social media, you don't want to show that you're losing. No. Cat. Obviously, I think it brings more It brings more pressure, but then that's good at the same time. Like, it's more competition. Um, everyone's working hard. Everyone wants to play. Everyone wants to start. Everyone wants to be in that starting 11. People would ask you who you played for back in the day, and it was just like, you know, you'd throw out just... Jim! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we'll just go round the roundabout again. You said you weren't nervous and you're definitely nervous because you've never done this before. I was saying I get nervous anyway before a game, but extra nervous today just because what it is, FA Cup, a lot of people there. My parents are coming, my mum's coming to watch me play. She hasn't watched me play in years. And then I've got like four of my firefighters that are on my watch coming to watch me. You're a firefighter? Yeah, I'm a firefighter. Yeah. Jeez! Okay. Police officer and a firefighter sitting in the car with you right now. Yeah, you're really Anything happens, today. you're in good hands. Something I've said for a while is that I think non-league football is actually like one of the toughest forms of football to play because you have to balance playing for either no money or a very small amount of money uh, with an actual job. One thing that I've been really inspired by since the women got involved particularly is seeing what these guys will do for their day jobs, particularly in this climate, you know. Everyone struggled in the pandemic, but what's so inspiring is seeing these girls who play for us that are doing these jobs on the front line, if you like, you know, that are spending their days in a stressful environment doing stuff that's really helping society, whether that's, you know, Alex in the NHS, Maddie is a firefighter, crucial, crucial jobs. And obviously it's great that they can then come and have this release playing football because they're, they're bloody earned it, that's for sure. So love having these guys at the club. It's why I love non-league football is these are real people with real lives and real problems. And like me, I'm sure football is often a great uh, way of escaping those problems and those stresses. Back him up. Come on, man, it's challenge. Don't run all that way and do nothing. Okay, look, she's starting to control you. Okay, you're not close enough to her. So you've got to forget about the offensive game so, and just stay tight to it. Yeah. So from that ball scene, you can nip in front, yeah. okay? Yeah. What's the corner, Max? That's it. Well done, Max. See it out. Well done. Causing yeah. them a lot of problems down there. Well done. Keep going. Oh. Good luck. 
There's only going to be one or two chances in this game. Those moments you've got to take. The bottom line is we haven't taken them. Corner! That's a corner! We can see it from here! Cover. That is the difference between the teams at the top and those teams vying for the top. If you don't take your chances, you are only giving them the confidence to stay in the game and believe that they can win. Great ball through, he's on sides. He's got over the keeper and gone in. And so he's done so well to keep the ball alive. He's gonna hit it and it's gone in. Samraj Gill, back post, looking for Albi Kelly, oh, he's got it! Oh! All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another Hashtag United game. It's a big one because it's first versus second in the league. We're away at Cockfosters, who are currently top. If we're at our best, we'll win the game. Harry Honesty taking a touch in the box! Hashtag go top of the league. So it wasn't really the 50th birthday I'd anticipated. It was ironic, really, that I was the first person at the club to, to have COVID because I was one of the club's COVID officers. To be honest with you, I wasn't well for about a month, but as we know, a lot of people have had it far worse. I was probably more worried about how the team would cope, not just without me, but Lou and Stampy were off because they had to isolate because of me. Um, but I was confident that everyone would pull together and we'd, uh, we'd cope. Didn't help when Danny pulled the bloody plug out in the middle of the stream. Is it going to be a quick free kick? It is taken there. Lee Hurst it, clips it into the box. Clips him in towards Joe Gregor, through everybody, at the back stick! Who's there? It's LBG! Joe Gregory for his second of the game! Yeah! Oh! Not a bad ball. Albi gets it! And then just as we got back up to speed off the pitch, things ground to a halt again on it. FA Vars game, uh, this is the first round proper. We've played a couple of games already in it. Playing Coggeshall. It's going to be an interesting game, but obviously this is a bigger game than it would have been as well because it could be our last game for a little bit. I know we're all feeling it, but to have put so much into the last few months, not just us, the players, the managers, the fans, but it's got to be done. If we're not taking mad measures to get rid of this thing for good, we're going to be in this cycle for a very long time. Mm. Yeah, and I ain't trying to get to see the league get cancelled, no and vote, void, all that rubbish. But I think a lot of people's opinions would be probably quite different. For me, if it means we have to go into another lockdown for four weeks, you know, to save lives, then, then so be it. The thing that's most concerning is that our league, you know, the whole non-league system seems to be in the dark. They don't seem to have a plan. We were bugging them from the second we were announcing football was coming back. What's the plan if it happens again? What can we do? What's the contingency? It was only last week they sent an email out asking for a vote when the season's already started about what teams should do. I think there's a real lack of leadership there from the, the top, really, FA and the various league bodies, because there's no... They're, starting, they're asking the teams. They're asking the teams after 11 or 12 games have been played what we want to do if the season doesn't finish. Well, obviously, there's only a handful of teams that can benefit from points per game, isn't there? So it's the same mistakes again, which is criminal. Today we've still, still got a job to do. FA Vars against Tottenham Shore, great, great side. Today, if we win, even if we are a month off, let's, let's go into this break with a win, positive energy. Make the most of being able to play the game today. It, it won't be long before we'll be, you know, wishing away for, for, for opportunities like today. This is what lockdown's done. Give me the respect of two minutes. It's mental. 